Anak is most commonly seen in type 2 diabetes, periodontally compromised, malnourished or hypertension. Okay. So, this anak is most commonly seen in malnourished persons. Okay. Malnourished persons. So, answer would be option 3. Okay. C. First of all, C. Diseases that predispose to anak. Diseases that predispose to anak. Anak is what? Acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Predisposed to anak. These are chronic diseases. Chronic diseases such as, for example, you can say a syphilis. Syphilis. Cancer. Okay. Severe GI disorders, severe GI disorder like ulcerative colitis you can say, ulcerative colitis, okay. Blood dyscrasias, blood dyscrasias like leukemia, anemia, okay. In these patients, you can see anag mostly, okay. AIDS, acute, acute acquired immune immunodeficiency syndrome that is AIDS. So, that is also predisposition factor for ANA. Okay. Now, another thing that is nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies resulting from debilitating disease may be additional predisposing factor. Now, this these debilitating disease means systemic disease that impairs the immunity and that will cause anak okay so here in the options malnourished is one that is the nutritional deficiency and that results from debilitating disease okay so malnourished will be correct option here now we will have a brief introduction of anak what is anak what are its clinical features and what are the oral signs and symptoms present okay so see anak basically it is nak it is necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Okay. It is not ANUG. It is NUG. Necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. It is a microbial disease of gingiva and it most often occurs. See, the, it most often occurs. This is a definition only of this lesion. Most often occurs in an impaired host. In an impaired host means a host with impaired immunity. This necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis occurs. It manifests with Characteristic clinical signs of necrosis, necrosis and sloughing, sloughing of gingival tissue, gingival tissue, okay, plus it may be accompanied by systemic symptoms also, systemic symptoms like malaise fever will also be present, okay. Now clinical features. It has been historically identified as an acute disease. So, this NUG. This, this is acute only. No chronic form exists. Okay. No chronic form of this necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. No chronic form exists. Okay. So, this is by default acute only. So, this the acronym which you use as ANUG that is frequently used that is a misnomer. Okay. So this, this term itself shows that it is an acute condition because necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis chronic form does not exist it is acute form only okay so that is a clinical this uh, the term acute that is are used as a clinical descriptor and that is not a diagnosis okay now history now see the history it is basically characterized by a sudden onset of symptoms some sudden onset of symptoms sometimes occurring after an episode of debilitating disease and that debilitating disease will lead to malnourishment. Okay. So, sometimes it occurs after an episode of debilitating disease, debilitating disease or acute respiratory tract infection. Okay. A change in living habits, protracted work without adequate rest, poor nutrition, see, poor nutrition, poor nutrition, tobacco use psychological stress all these are the common features of patient's history okay now oral signs important part this is very important part oral signs what do you see in the patients with none characteristic lesions very important question this is multiple times it has been asked the characteristic lesions these are punched out these are punched out crater like depressions okay crater like depressions at the crest of interdental papillae 
एट द क्रेस्ट ऑफ इंटर डेंटल पैपिल ओके सो दिस इज द दिस इज द ओरल साइन दिस इज द क्लिनिकल फीचर विच इज सीन इन माउथ सो पंट आउट क्रेटर लाइक डिप्रेशन एट द स्क्रेस्ट ऑफ इंटर डेंटल पैपिली दैट सब्सिक्वेंटली एक्सटेंड टू मार्जिनल जिंजाइवा एंड रियली टू अटैच जिंजाइवा ओरल म्यूकोसा नाउ अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक थिंग अबाउट दिस इज दिस सर्फेस ऑफ द जिंजाइवल क्रेटर just now we saw that craters are present now the surface of this gingival crater is covered by covered by gray pseudo membranous pseudo membranous slough okay now this is also important question gray pseudo membrane is covering the gingival crater okay and that is this is demarcated from the remainder of gingival mucosa by a pronounced linear erythema linear erythema is also present okay so these are important clinical features of this anag okay necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis microbial disease of gingiva and it most often occurs in impaired host okay and important things were that uh, it is characterized by sudden onset of symptoms sometimes occurring after episode of debilitating disease or acute respiratory tract infection okay a change in living habits protracted work without adequate rest poor nutrition tobacco use and psychologic stress these are some common features of the patient's history who is suffering from this necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis okay so here see the question anag is most commonly seen in malnourished okay type 2 diabetes periodontal compromise and hypertension these are not the predisposing factors the predisposing factors will be this malnourishment okay so this is most commonly seen in poor nutrition patients malnourished patients answer would be option 